What's up, Internet friends? Lyle from Stone Glacier here. Uh, we're just at the range getting in our final shots and checking our weapons before bear season starts. Um, you know, for us as hunters, getting that first opportunity uh, when you're out hunting is really important, that first shot. Um, and so a lot of that comes with practice and a lot of that comes with hard work, but it also comes with good gear. And we know that good gear isn't cheap. So this year, as part of our Black Label launch, we're actually building uh, a custom gun and we're going to give it away to one lucky customer. So why don't you guys follow along and we'll jump into the build. At the heart of every gun is a great action. Today we're in Columbia Falls, Montana at Defiance Machine, picking up the action for our Black Label gun build. There's a couple things that makes Defiance special in the industry. Um, our actions themselves are a big part of it. They're, that's most of what it is. Uh, we do, we take great care to reduce the stress that we induce into metals. Um, so we do things like a wire EDM, our raceways. A lot of people will broach their raceways, which will induce stress. And if you're, you know, at a competition and you're putting 10 rounds down range as fast as you can, that heat can cause that stress to warp your metal. And that's something that our actions will never do because we machine them in a way that reduces as much stress as possible. The basic functions of a rifle action has to repeatedly feed rounds into a chamber, provide a consistent recoil surface for when that round goes off, and extract the, chamber, the round from the chamber. All right, yesterday we got a quality action from the Defiance. Today we got to get a quality barrel, so we're over at Proof Research just down the street to pick out a barrel for our gun build. So there's, there's quite a few things that go into making a good rifle barrel. Um, first of all, you have to have a really good design. You have to know what you're doing there, um, especially when it comes to carbon fiber, because there's lots of different things to, to think about. Um, uh, second thing is materials, super high quality materials, um, you know, repeatable performance and uh, specifications there. And the third thing that comes uh, that's important for barrels is the, the manufacturing process, that we have a good, precise, repeatable process to, to make sure we're uh, you know, producing that design uh, to the best of our ability. Carbon barrel is great for hunting applications. Uh, obviously the weight's super important, so you get a nice lightweight barrel, um, but unlike a thin steel barrel, you get a ton of performance out of, the, out of the carbon barrel as well. So you're lightweight, but still accurate and incredibly durable for, you know, for dragging it through the woods, up and over the mountains, whatever you need to do, that carbon barrel is gonna be there for you. All right, what's up, Internet friends? Lyle from Stone Glacier. We're here in the garage for our buddy Jared Miller. Uh, Jared's going to help us put our gun together. We've got all of our components. Um, they all showed up and arrived, so we're going to get started. The cool thing about 2023 is a lot of the high-quality manufacturers allow you to basically take their components and build the gun right in your garage. So we have our proof uh, prefit barrel, and with this in our action, we can essentially screw this directly into the action and get perfect head spacing with just a limited amount of tools. All right guys, so first step, we're gonna bolt our barrel to action together. So we're gonna put our barrel in the barrel vise, and then we're gonna use the action wrench and a torque wrench to torque the action onto the barrel. So we're gonna put a little bit of gray anti-seize just on the threads of the barrel, just to make it easy to get it back apart again in the future if you go to the change barrels. For our components, we have a, a Defiance Ruckus action with the anti-X uh, cuts in it. That's going to save you some weight when you're in the backcountry. Our barrel is a Proof Sendero. That's a 24-inch barrel with a 1 in 10 twist rate. Uh, this guy is chambered in a 30 cal since we're building a 300 wind mag. All right, guys, so we got our action screwed onto the barrel. We're going to take our action wrench, and what this basically does is slides in and locks against the lugs and allows you to use a torque wrench to torque it up to spec. All right guys, so now we're gonna take our torque wrench and we're gonna to torque the action onto the barrel at the manufacturer's spec. So it's that easy. And then we're gonna take our go, no go gauges and check headspace. We're gonna start with the go and slide it in and the bolt should close nicely on it. And then we'll take that out and put the no go gauge in and it should get close, but we should not be able to close the bolt. Okay, so the gun head spaced perfect. And next thing we're gonna do is install the trigger. For this, uh, we're using a, a Trigger Tech trigger. Uh, this one has the straight trigger on it. What I like about that is 
as you're shooting, it gives you a spot to index your finger. So as you slide your finger up the trigger, you're gonna get a different pull weight. So the nice thing about this is you can get a consistent shot every time. Okay guys, for these Remington 700 based actions that use a Remington 700 trigger, you just have two trigger pins that will slide in from either side and that's what holds the trigger in place. All right, uh, the next step is gonna be to go on ahead and install our barrel action into our stock. For this build, we're using a Peak 44 Bastion. Uh, we like this because it has a really comfortable vertical grip on it. It's also super lightweight, which is gonna be nice when you're carrying in the mountains. This guy comes in just right around 24 ounces. It also has a 3D hex recoil pad, which absorbs a lot of that recoil and allow you to stay on target and follow your shots. To seat the action in the stock, we're gonna go with um, an M5 BDL bottom metal from the guys over at Snowy Mountain. Our build's coming along and the next thing we need to do is we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna install a suppressor on this gun. Uh, this guy is the Backcountry Banish from the folks over at Silencer Central. Uh, it's 5.5 inches tall, weighs about uh, eight ounces, uh, made of titanium, and it's direct threat, so it'll just go right on the end of our barrel. So the bottom metal is all installed. Uh, we went on ahead and installed a rail on the bottom of this as well. So this is from Salmon River. Uh, what's nice about this rail, it has an Arca bottom and then a Picatinny top. Um, so that way you can run a few different options on there. Uh, for the bipod, we're running the lightweight single pull from MDT. That's what I don't like Picatinny because I'm not smart enough to use it. The last piece of the puzzle is going to be to install our optics. So we're going with a Leupold Mark V HD and a set of Hawkins Precision Rings with the level built in. Some of the things we like about this optic is that it has an easy to read auto locking turret, quality little pull construction, and classic styling. Coming in at just 30 ounces, this is a great hunting scope for those wanting to extend their range with practice. Uh, we selected the PR2 MOA reticle in this guy, and that allows the user to measure targets, make quick corrections, and accurately hold wind when the calm conditions aren't going to be in the cards. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to give this gun away to one lucky winner. To enter, all you need to do is purchase a Black Label Cirque jacket from July 20th through December 31st. Uh, I want to take a minute and just thank all of our partners who helped make this possible. Uh, I want to say thanks to Jared for his time today. If you have any questions about this giveaway, please click the link below. It has all the details.